A true spiritual surrender has nothing to do with being passive and waiting. It has nothing to do with disconnecting from your life and letting, you know, something else take over. Spiritual surrender is all about getting active. It's all about finding the correct relationship with the higher forces. And if you're interested in this topic, let's dive in. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Stello and I help light workers, star seeds, priestesses and leaders to remember who they are, to step into their highest potential and to channel their gifts into a life they desire. And I cannot even tell you how many times I've had conversation around what does it mean to surrender. Because typically people imagine if I surrender this, I don't care. I don't care what's going to happen. I just let it be. I just completely disconnect from it. But surrendering has nothing to do with disconnecting from anything. When you surrender, what you are doing is that you are surrendering your control. You are surrendering the need to know how and when it unfolds. You are not surrendering the result. You are not letting go of the final destination where you want to be. You are flexible around the way how to get there. And you are open for the possibility that the result may be something else than you wanted. But you hold very clear intention. As you hold this clear intention, you are just releasing all the control, your fears, your doubts, your worries. So what is surrendering is our ego and it's surrendering into the guidance of the soul. But you are still engaged. You are still caring where you are going. You have priorities and you have intentions. You are not fixed with your goal, like it must happen this way and this is the deadline because this is what the ego does. But when you are truly surrendered, you are having this deep intention. This is what I feel in my soul and in my heart. And this is what I'm desiring to create. But I'm open to how it happens, when it happens. And I'm open to the possibility that that result may be something better. And it's always something better if you are surrendered, even though it may look like you failed. Because even that failure may be something that you exactly need to experience to heal something. So you are very flexible about the whole journey. You are truly surrendering your ego. So when you fully surrender and it needs to happen at the level of the heart chakra and it ideally happens with your whole being, it's not just about telling yourself I surrender and not meaning it. It's like merging back with the cosmic ocean. You become one with its body. There's no more separation. It can carry you. It can hold you. You don't have to labor everything by yourself like as a separate entity. You can trust and surrender knowing that you can be patient. Because you know that if something comes from your heart and your soul, it's meant for you. Yes, maybe you have to become a different version of yourself to be able to hold what you desire, but it's still meant for you. And knowing that, you can ease into the journey. You don't have to be controlling every step of the journey. So you surrender knowing all of this, knowing that it already happened. Because if it comes from the soul, it did happen on a different timeline, which you are just drawing into your present time. And as you surrender, you surrender the control, worries, doubts, fears, limiting beliefs, emotions that are not stable and helpful. But you stay committed to your intention. You stay committed to your dream. You stay committed to where your soul is guiding you and what you are here to manifest. And as you stay committed and you surrender the rest, you are actually in that receptive mode where you are able to hear inner guidance. You finally are listening instead of projecting your own ideas and thoughts on how it should happen and when. You become present, you become still. And because of that, 
there's so much more guidance flowing through you. And because there's so much guidance, and it feels exciting because it comes from your soul, it doesn't feel heavy. You feel like, I can't wait doing this, this is so cool. I love it, even though it's outside of your comfort zone, because I think it always is if it comes from the soul. You still feel inspired, you feel excited about it, and you dive in. You take soul-aligned action from that surrendered state. And the soul-aligned action creates quantum leaps, which means you are able to get where you want to be much faster than if you were trying to figure it out by yourself. You listen to all these impulses and insights and inner guidance about what action to take. And you step into it, you embody it. And this way you achieve that result or oftentimes something much better. Something that the ego couldn't have even imagined because it works with the past information. But your soul always looks forward, it always expands, it's always creating something new and it's guiding you into your future. And so when you surrender, you just let go of the control and you listen, you become teachable and the universe can guide you to what you desire, what your soul wants to experience. So surrender is never passive, it's not about waiting. You are still, you hold your desire, your intention in your heart and you listen. And when it's time to take action, you take it without a delay. This is how you change your life with surrender. Because you build this quantum energy around you and you operate on a much higher, faster timeline. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments below and I see you next time.